Hi, everybody. I'm Katina McHenry, joined today by Jay Hartzell and Lillian Mills. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is a brand new Q&A. First, if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, we have a new interim dean, Lillian Mills, and our wonderful Jay Hartzell is going on to be interim president of the University of Texas, which we're so excited for you, Jay, and so excited for you, Lillian, as well. Thanks, Katina. Let's talk a little bit about commencement. Jay, is there a message you'd like to send our graduates with? Uh, I, think, I think the main thing, Katina, is just congratulations to all of you. Um, I miss it. This is the, this time of year, it, it really culminates the year for us, and it's a, a reminder of why we do what we do. And you get in, whether it's the Irwin Center or Gregory Gym or wherever the ceremony is, you look out and see all those caps and gowns, and it's really inspiring. And so I know for all of our graduates, it's not the graduation ceremony you pictured, uh, but we're with you in spirit, and you'll have a chance to come back to the 40 Acres. We'll love to have you back. And, you know, come see us again, and I, I wish we could be there. All the same, you've earned this, and congratulations, great job. Uh, we're inspired by the fact that you've stuck this through. Um, and just, you know, looking forward to celebrating in person at the right time. Yeah, this is a huge accomplishment considering the way that they've had to adapt and pivot very quickly to a whole new way of doing things. So do you feel like their, their, uh, their accomplishment is even more so um, greater and bigger just because of what they've had to go through and endure over the last couple of months and, um, and just in the transition they've had to face? Yeah, you think about it, and, and two of the words that come up in our, when we talk to recruiters about our students are agility and resilience. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything that our students and our faculty and staff have shown over the last couple of months is agility and resilience. Uh, we went from a face-to-face, -face, more traditional university to an online one in about three weeks. And you may have seen continue, but I think we delivered 8 million minutes of Zoom on the first day of classes at the university, which is just incredible. And to go from here to there, um, you know, all the kudos to our students uh, for seeing this through and, and finishing their studies and, and getting through this just crazy semester. Yeah, crazy is a, a perfect word to describe it, I think, for everybody. Um, all right, so let's talk a little bit about um, just, just your transition, Jay, out of the dean's role and into the president's role and, and Lily and your transition into the role. Let's talk about just how that will go just and, and how seamless we are planning for it to go. So Lillian, I think we'll start with you and then go to you, Jay. Well, one of the things I'm most grateful for is that Jay has just folded me into every single one of his meetings. And in a month when he moves into the president's office, less than a month, I, he'll step out and I will have caught every one of those meetings at least once with him by my side and it's been a fabulous three weeks of really appreciating even more the talent of our senior leadership our uh, associate deans and assistant deans and program heads we have some new ones of those a new department chair and they're just exceptional and then twice a week because of our unusual fall planning I'm in meetings with all of the deans from across the entire university. And I want to reassure all the faculty and students that there are so many people, smart people, thinking of every contingency for the fall. And even within 48 hours of being tapped as uh, the designated interim dean, my confidence in my colleagues and the people upstream of me is is just sky high. It's a big pool of talent. Yeah. Well, Ian, as you transition into the role, talk, talk about some of the classroom experience um, and just your experience interacting with faculty on a one-on-one -on -one basis and also the students as well and how you'll take some of that experience and move it into, uh, into the dean's role. It's just the belief that every human act interaction it's a referendum on my character and on the excellence of the McCombs School, and I can't wait to get to know every one of you better. Well, we are so excited uh, to have your energy and experience, and I'm, I'm excited to see how we keep moving forward in McCombs. Jay, as you plan to hand off the baton, how easy is that for you to do? 
<laughs> it's it's easy in the sense I actually think we're you know the school is getting an upgrade so that part that part makes it easy I think the hardest part is I wasn't expecting it and so I wasn't as organized as I could have been you know things weren't written down Lil's been teasing me about tell me about that strange deal you cut over there and and help me understand this and and I have to kind of remember all those facts that um, I wasn't planning on necessarily telling somebody right away so um, all that said, I think we've gotten uh, up to speed with each other very quickly. Lil and I go back a long way. We were department chairs together. We came in as new chairs. I was in finance. She was in accounting. And um, she was kind of like that person in class I always copied from. And, you know, I learned how to be a chair by, by taking a lot of ideas from Lil. And I think she's just going to be tremendous in this role. And um, so I'm you know, couldn't be happier with the way it's worked out between Lil and you take uh, Eric Hurst and his role and all the associate deans and chairs have just been awesome. Yeah. Jay, can you talk a little bit about, a little bit about what you've been doing to prepare to leave and, and move into the president's role? Yeah, it's much the way that I've been overlapping with Lil and, and we've been working together. I've been doing the same thing with President Fimbas. And so I've been starting to, uh, you know, go to those meetings and, and understand the rest of campus, learn what the key issues are um, across the campus. And then meanwhile, as, as Lil mentioned, and you continue, you mentioned, a lot of our effort is really on planning for the fall mm -hmm. and just trying to figure out um, how we can be face-to-face -to, -face to the extent possible and still be safe. And so trying to plan for a semester together again, which we all really want, uh, while also thinking about what the sort of safety precautions need to be uh, what the different alternatives need to look like uh, so that we can continue to deliver a, a world-class education face-to-face uh, -face that we can and, um, and other ways such that we have to. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I think of nothing else. This has given us the opportunity to implement innovation in such a deep, very crucial way. I mean, it's what we do and what we teach at McCombs, but now we've been able to actually exercise that whole idea and we had to do it very suddenly. So in that, in that regard, do you guys think that um, we have been prepared to handle something like this? And going forward, I feel like we'll be prepared for any kind of <laughs> experience we'll have or we'll have to implement, uh, implement any kind of innovation. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, maybe I'll take a couple and Lil, you can chime in too. I, I think you know, because the spring went from, you know, everything face-to-face -to, -face to everything had to be online, the summer is a little, uh, I think, exciting because we're able to plan a little more mm -hmm. and sort of and start to think about course by course, class by class, what should be done face-to-face -face if we can, uh, how can we optimize the use of technology, um, and then also what's our backup plan if we need to have one. So the ability to be a little more thoughtful, a little more strategic about it, I think is great. Uh, the other thing to your point, Katania, I think we'll find faculty now using technology a decade from now mm -hmm. that they may, we, we as faculty may not have been as comfortable with, but because we were forced to try it, um, I've heard faculty say, you know, this office hours with Zoom may, may be a good thing in the future. Yeah. And so there might be just new tricks or things we use, maybe not in the delivery of our, of our lectures or case to case, discuss, case discussions, but there'll be something I think where we use technology. Lil, I don't know what you found. So exactly that, that, that Austin commuting traffic, as we all know, is getting worse all the time. I expect students will be able to enjoy more evening office hours with their faculty members because the faculty members have become so agile with Zoom and we won't be as constrained as we were by just small inconveniences. Uh, the Dean's Advisory Council had record attendance because we weren't asking very busy professionals to travel. I think there are lots of things across the college, not just the teaching, uh, that will have a wider reach because we're going to figure out ways to engage everyone using the technology that we're all of a sudden 100% uh, comfortable with and it happened under duress, but it is an asset for the future. I've had at least two faculty members tell me they had 100% class attendance in the post uh, online environment this spring. Wow. Is that so, historic? 
it, it, like even higher attendance than in class normally, that everybody was there and they were engaged. I know that's not true campus wide, but I'm really proud of our Macomb students. They show up for their education. Yeah. Lillian, can you talk a little bit about just how you plan to continue moving forward as we go forward with, uh, with transitioning in the next several weeks? What is your vision sure. for the Combs? So one of the most fun parts of the last three weeks to me has been getting engaged in our collaborations across campus. And I'm from a liberal arts family. I'm married into a science and engineering family. And one of the great things about being at a university this huge is how much excellence there is all over campus. And so when the natural sciences dean bragged about three of his members being in the uh, Academy of Science, I found out about those three colleagues and learned more about astronomy and genetics. Uh, so I think our work in the Nutrition Institute with natural sciences, our work in sustainability with the Moody College of Communications, our work with the Value Institute over in Del Med. Uh, we've got initiatives in sports analytics and with um, entrepreneurship in all kinds of ways and women's issues over in the fine arts school. I think if we can move all of those things forward, I, it's not just that it wins friends for Macomb's campus wide, it's that it's more entrepreneurial uh, excitement and business opportunities for our students. All right, so as we continue to look ahead, we've looked at what's coming up in the fall and how we're planning for fall, but let's back up a little bit and talk about summer. Of course, all of our summer classes will be online going forward. So can you talk, both of you, talk a little bit about the opportunities that will be afforded our undergrad students as well as our graduate students? Jay, we can start with you. Yeah, sure. Um, so, you know, campus-wide, we all realize that given uh, what's happened, that this summer is a little bit different. And a lot of students had great plans that couldn't materialize the way they envisioned. Uh, so we're trying to find ways for students to use the university to have a very productive, engaging, and, and beneficial summer. Uh, so one of those things has been to expand our capacity to deliver summer school. Mm -hmm. And at the McCombs level, uh, numbers, early returns are really good. We've added a bunch of sections of courses. I think we've almost doubled our enrollment so far uh, compared to last year. And so uh, it's great to see many students taking advantage of our faculty over the summer uh, to take a class or two and try to find ways to keep their progress moving forward and have a productive summer. Um, but you know, McCombs is just a microcosm of what's happening campus-wide, trying to find ways to let students uh, use us use our faculty, use our courses uh, to, have, to have a good summer, have something that they enjoy and learn from that also keeps their, uh, their progress moving forward. Well, is there anything else you guys want to talk about together before we, before we end this Q&A? This will be the last Q&A we actually do with Jay. Um, Lillian will um, step in that role as we go forward. So it, it's been great to talk to you both about what your plans are, what you see for the future. And I always love looking to, to the future um, with positivity and optimism as well. So is there anything else you guys want to add to close this particular Q&A out? Maybe I'll, I'll just briefly, you know, I would, uh, to echo what both of you said, we realize as faculty and staff that this has been a rough time for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, our staff, our faculty trying to juggle working with kids at home and no daycare and maybe a single parent and all that has been rough. And a lot of our students who don't have all the resources at their disposal to do things they want to do and their best laid plans have gone astray. Um, we're here for you, you know, reach out to us if, if we can be helpful. Uh, the other thing I would say is, you know, this university and our school continue to have fantastic fundamentals. And if you look at the future, it's as bright um, as ever. It's just, we're going to have to get through this next patch together. And, uh, you know, I'd still, rather be here at UT um, and on the 40 acres than almost any other place on earth. And so we're very fortunate to all to be Longhorns and, and good times will come back again. Yes. Yep. Thank you for that, Jay. Lily, anything else you want to say to close it out? 
Hook them horns. <laughs> there you go. Hook them. <laughs> well, thank you both for joining us today. And thank you for watching. This has been a wonderful Q&A with our interim designated president of the University of Texas, Jay Hartzell, and our interim dean at McCombs, Lillian Mills. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time on the Q&A, which will be with Lil. Thank you.